And on a side that abuse, 100% I agree, is not only the physical abuse. That's one form of it. But you know what? Sometimes your tongue can be sharper than your hand and can be more you know, damaging than your hand. Both are, are, are evil. So you have the physical abuse. You have also the emotional abuse. And, and, and that's basically uh, when you belittling your spouse, when uh, uh, damaging their, 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 their self-esteem, putting them down, making fun of them all the time, that, that's, that's an emotional abuse. Making them feel that they are losers, they cannot do anything, just because you want to control them and make them always depends on you. There is also an economic abuse, which is, it's, it's weird. I, I have seen stories, scary story of somebody who had a dealership and literally his wife drive a car, which is like so old brick all the time and he doesn't even help her. You know, making her, making sure that woman, there is this notion that making sure women have no money in their hands, you know, and that makes basically he taking advantage of that and he making humiliate her and everything. That's my money. That's my things. I, I spend on you. You're worth nothing. You know, go ahead and stay in the street. Nobody going to take care of you. And that's, that's all form of abuse, of financial abuse. Also, there is a psychological abuse. It's, it's, it's close to the emotional abuse. By psychological abuse, when you play with her cycle, you know, you make her feel like she's not stable. She's not capable of making sound decision. She is, and unfortunately, or vice versa, by the way. Uh, also, there is a sexual abuse. And sometimes people even live in denial. You know, in Islam, we, we recognize something called sexual abuse. You know, uh, and, and I part of it, for example, when someone in Islam, sexual abuse have many manifestations. One of them, for example, when someone forced his wife to enter a relationship while she is Islamically cannot, let's say she has her period, or she is physically cannot offer that. She is not physically capable of doing an, uh, what you're asking of her that and you forcing into her that's a form of abuse you know uh sometimes you know women will want certain type of relationships and the halal wrong and the man will said no and she for example oh you have to say yes to me but i don't have to say yes to you that's a sexual abuse what also important for me to say quickly abuse this is manifestations of the abuse but also abuse came happen from a woman to a man and it can be in all these areas as well. She can physically abuse him. She can, you know, uh, 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 emotionally abuse him. She can psychologically abuse him. Sexually, she can abuse him. I'm fine, she can abuse him. So it's ba- happened both ways. But definitely, the largest, l- large you know, numbers uh, of abuse happen on, on women. But also, there's a third type of abuse in domestic fam- domestic abuse. And we should not, you know, ignore it and I talk about it in my course as well which is the issue of abuse toward children that's also domestic abuse and when there is an abuse inside the family abusing your power over the children and so forth so this is a big topic and really uh, I'm glad that we were able to uh, shed some light on it and make more discussion about it um, and credit go to sister Sadeh Yasmin for that